Hi, I did see you there. A lot of stuff happened in the last episode of the Taskman series. I spent three months fighting two different creatures to get one not that useful piece of armor. In an attempt to make the entire ending of last episode more poignant, I cut out a good chunk of stuff intending to summarize it all when I was finally free from my torment. So I wanted to do that really quick up top before we get into the episode. I wanted to add an element to help keep track of whatever passive task I'm working on in the background of the videos. As of now, we are still working on the Gobi tasks. I went over the Halloween stuff briefly last episode, but I never did get around to the Christmas stuff. There was nothing super crazy worth mentioning, but I wanted it to be known that I was delivering the odd letter and opening gifts getting some emotes and cosmetics. I then annihilated every holiday related item from my bank because I need to maintain my bank space. A handful of beginner tasks were added way back while I was doing the grind. I was kindly informed that I was okay to mark the majority of the new beginner tasks off because it was for people who were new to the task man game mode primarily, which I am not. Our current task being to obtain a bronze spear and 20 ashes from the haunted mine, which I only decided to do because I wanted the ashes. Thank you as always for your patience and your kindness, and I hope you enjoy the episode. What the hell is happening? Where am I going? What the hell? It's getting weird, dude. Free me? Free me? I'm di I'm dying? I, what the, what is happening, man? I feel like picking this bronze spear up is probably not uh, entirely necessary. Then again, I guess this entire task is not something I need to be doing. So I believe you just pick them and then you just drop them. Oh yeah, simple as that. All right, that's 20 total dropped. Loot all the ashes. Task complete. Oh man, it feels good to say that again. Feed the giant oyster. Hey yo, who up stroking they damn oyster. Obtain 50 kudos by cleaning finds at the Verrock Museum. I don't actually know how many kudos I have right now. Oh, I have 83 kudos. I've been done this task. <laughs> Start setting up abandoned um by finding Lady Grey's guitar. Man just ate his own ass. Hand guitar to Lady Grey. No. Oh. <laughs> Thought that something funny would happen. Okay, you can have it. Unlock the four mime and two zombie emotes by purchasing any- <laughs> Unlock the four mimes and two zombie emotes by purchasing any of the pieces of, of their fit. <sighs> Unlock the four mime and two zombie emotes by purchasing any piece of their outfits from Iffy in Varrock. All right, buy a mime mask by a, what was the other one? Zombie hands. We have the emote. We got the emotes. Turns out I've actually finished this task already because I received the Warrior Fat Cosmetic Armor Set and I believe the Might of Het Pantheon, Desert Pantheon Effect. Oh no. I did all that range training last episode. The only problem is I didn't get any upgrades in the process. Oh man. <laughs> you couldn't have cut me some slack, man. I just got back here. I <laughs> Uh, I'm using a goddamn magic shortbow, dude. I'm assuming this is gonna go much like the Kriara task. Nope, this is Kriara, I'm confused. The Krill, oh, uh, what, Tutsi Roth? Sounds so wrong. Oh wait, I have Morrigans. <gasps> it's time to break out the big guns, yeah. I do have this Carol's skirt. Is that better? It is better. Okay, that's something. This gear setup is a certified task man moment. That's so funny, dude. This is so scuffed. Can I complain for a second? It'll just take a second, I promise. Why are all my teleports grayed out? Why are you doing that? It upsets me to look at. I don't understand why it's like this. I have quick charges. I mean, even if I didn't, they still shouldn't be grayed out. Why are they grayed out? I was really excited for the opportunity to get a God Wars task again. And I'm realizing now that I should have used range instead of, I mean, no, words. I'm sorry, I'm very tired. <laughs> I'm realizing that I should have used mage. I'll probably switch after this, but I'm already here, so I mean, we got to try to get a kill. I just always associated this boss with range, probably because of, I don't know, 
childhood trauma. No, it's not true. <laughs> Don't put that in the video. Man, I mean, it's good. The only reason I'm like, I was like, a mild, I'm, I don't even want to say like perturbed, like I'm f completely fine with getting that drop, but I just, I want to at least try the boss, at least for the, the humor aspect, because it's going to be pitiful. But also I want to see if maybe I can do it. I mean, probably not. 63% hit chance. 72 with the potion. It's not entirely horrible. Man, I wish I had Death's Witness. Man, I wish I had a bow that wasn't three tiers behind my current level. All right, not as horrible as I would have expected. With that said, absolutely no chance of a second kill and I'm out of here. I was considering just killing the AVNCs for the War Priest drop and not going into the boss room anymore, but I think I wanna have that slim chance to get something sick. Truly, I can't stress this enough, I need some upgrades. Look at my gear and weep. Ah, oh, man, I really... I really, I mean, it makes sense for the task, but I really wanted the chance to get something that wasn't War Priest. But it's fine. It's still upgrades. It's still better. I mean, it's not great because it's hybrid. So ultimately it's not my first choice, but it is better. I'm not mad. I'm just pissed. The piano has legs. Yo, they updated the bears recently and they made them MFers thick. I'm just saying, they got some, they got some damn games, dude. Those guys thunderous. Anyway, I got 72 farming. Um, hey, yo, they got the goddamn sewer skeleton. Wow, that's awful. Oh, oh, it's blinking. Great. Yes, that's my favorite feature of ruin crafting. When the altars blink at me. I accidentally made way too many bone ruins also. I don't, I thought it was 620 for some reason. That's a big my bad. Just need to get all the flesh runes and we are good to go. I had a lot of memories associated with doing ruin crafting and it being like an agonizing slog until ruin span happened. But then anytime I thought about regular crafting of ruins, I was disgusted. My point is, I, I didn't hate that as much as I thought I would. Would I do it for a hundred hours? I mean, maybe after the ghost hunter thing, I'm not sure. I'm a different person. I promise I'm not gonna just keep bringing up the, the ghost hunter thing. I mean, I've gotten extremely lucky in other places on this grind. I got Alley, which was pretty under drop rate. I got that gnome ball thing that people won't let me forget about and still keep accosting me over, including my my personal friends like Ben. He, he sent me a message. He was like, what the fuck, man? I was like, Ben, I know, dude. I, I get it. Stop. Stop. Anyway, there are the piano keys. Let's go fix that piano. I am mentally stable. I think that's my favorite feature about me is how stable I am and how no one thinks I'm clinically insane. What? You have completed flesh and bone. 12K necromancy speed don't hurt and 25 vessel souls. That's zombie squared away. Thank you, zombie thinks you're a real deal too. Thanks, zombie. Register a total of five unique items in the Mauritania section of your Slayer collection log. Nothing we're gonna get here is gonna be a helpful change. So I'm just gonna pick the one that's at the top and that's black boots. I don't know who drops them. Blood Velds. This should be a quick and easy task. It is a 12 and 128 drop, so not that crazy. Should be, should be pretty speedy. Oh, yep. Easy peasy, not even 10 kills in. Of the curator, investigate the effects of Carapac's actions on the wildlife of Anacronia. The curator can be found south of Earth Castle. The two books are reported a, re rewarded upon completion can be stored in the bookcase in your po. I despise Zaros's little, little dirty mouth. Ew, look at him. Look at those freaking little clappers lip it up. Okay, desperate creatures done. We get two books. I do like lore, so I'm not incredibly opposed to this. Ooh, this is kind of cool. I wonder if any of these will become bosses. I mean, obviously some of them already are. The ones that aren't bosses already. I feel like that's gotta be in the works to some degree. Like at least one of these because I don't know, man, that'd be really cool. Plus they're in, they're in among other bosses. So that almost feels like it could be an intentional nod. Am I lagging or is there just no actual second page to this book? I'm lagging. Obtain a unique from the Anima Islands. I have just received a blessed comment, something that I will cherish for all of my days. I've been informed I can spend points to get a weapon that isn't pure ass. Reset unlocks, except give me the vanquish. Put the comment on the damn screen.
Put the comment on the damn screen. You are a hero. This is a beautiful day. A new dawn has arrived. I was considering putting the time in to get Devotion, because Devotion is extremely useful. But we're doing a lot of God Wars 1. I mean, maybe not a lot, but it's definitely ramping up. So I feel like before too long, there's a good chance, or at least a decent chance that I'll get it from there and not have to do this at all. So I'm thinking I'll just get some gloves. I gotta make sure I don't have the gloves already. I do not have the gloves already. I have now purchased the gloves. Purchase the GRACK outfit. Make a headdress. Make some legs and make a top. And I think we've made everything now. Maybe, I don't know actually, but maybe we've made everything. I don't remember, it's been a while. Chop down the tree behind the Yanil anvils and examine the stump. Timbo, no Timbo, Timbo. Timbo. Intimidate the Arc Glacor by displaying your ability to turn ores into bars anywhere. Superheat an ore while standing in the Arc Glacor lobby. Hey yo, you cold ass moron, check this shit out. Where is it? I, <laughs> I did it backwards. I need one nature and four fire. And I did it in reverse. <sighs> now I'm the cold ass moron. Or did I say idiot? I already forgot. Now I'm double dumb. Mario Kart double dumb. Dude, the skybox here looks kind of sick. Look at that, that's cool. They did like a really sick job. Like, th look at this shot with his visage there just imposing. That's so cool, man. All right, uh, uh, hit the gold with the super heat. Get owned, loser. Ooh, I've been waiting patiently for this opportunity. Register a total of 15 unique items in the easy tier of your treasure trail collection log. If you're unaware, because I don't remember if I actually said it in a video, there is an unlock for clues that I got a little while back that allows me to do clue scrolls if I don't have a task for them, but I am not allowed to open the clues. So my general go-to is anytime I was close to filling up on clues, except for hards, because I was exhausted during the, you know, the whole grind that I keep bringing up. I would go off, finish some clues, stack up some chests, and come back. So we have a decent collection. I really should do those hard clues. I have 17 easy caskets, and we only need five items. So pretty good odds that we can just power through this task. We got a master clue. There is a rule that you must keep a master clue if you get one. No re-rolling masters. Now this, this gets killed. Wait, hold up. Ceridome and arrows, are those good? No, I have, no, I have those because it would have shown up as a general. I must have those. Oh my God. Black bolts, I'm pretty sure that's general. So that's not actually helpful. Wow, these clue scrolls are, I mean, they're easy. So I don't know what I expected, but maybe I just had, what the hell? I mean, it's a unique, I'll take it. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna complain about free teleports. That makes my easy, that, that makes my clue scroll do, doing easier later. That was a horrible sentence. We got meerkats. That's, I believe digging up a scroll with a meerkat is a passive task. So that's a good pickup. Br red fire lighter. We're good to reroll this. For some reason, I thought there was something about not rolling a new unique. I made that up. My mind lies to me constantly. You can't trust this guy. What the hell? There we go, black plate skirt. I'm conditioned to believe all black items, non-racial, are general items. Is that actually new? It is, four to go. Luck's not looking great so far, but we got time. Oh, uh, meerkat scrolls, good for the passive. I'll take them. What the hell? Studded body G. Thank you, G. My body is studded. More meerkats, nature ruins. Nada, that gets re-rolled. Already have a black crossbow. Our middle page and a U composite. So that is, that's not new. Also, that might be general. I can't wait to rip all of these components to pieces, mostly for the bank space. Four clues left, three items needed. Here we go. Ooh, okay. Black body H2, Gutanath teleport. Big fan of Gutanath, always loved his work. We reroll those. We're disappointed with the rerolls as is life. Last clue. Also not very good. All right, well, let's go get doing more easies. Do I have more easies? I have two easies. Well, that's probably not gonna work out. Okay, let's open some more clues. I got four more. I do not want this. Reroll token easy. I think that's a general item, but a general item I will use. Oh boy. Um, I'm gonna actually take this one because I have got Zamorak arrows as a reward, but I haven't kept any of them. I don't have any in my bank. And I need the Zamorak item for whenever I go back to Krill 
Tootsie Roth. I hate saying it like that. Three armadal pages, not what we're looking for, but I will take them. And finally, another easy reroll. Let's re let's reroll. Let's reroll again. Okay, let's go get more clues. Two magic composite balls. I'm really stacking up the comps. I counted how many fortunate components I have in my bank. It was like low 40s. We're gonna be ahead of the curve when we get to that. There we go, a powdered wig. Comes with a classic emote that always reminds me of the RSMVs. Hell yeah. Oh, he is, he is pissed. We reroll those into not much. And finally, a wizard hat T. Catch an exceptionally big bass and mount it in your house. While fishing for bass, there's a rare chance of obtaining the big bass. The bass can be mounted gross in a skill hall requiring a two construction what a construction level of 36 a stuffed big bass and two oak planks got the big bass i don't it didn't take too long i honestly thought it would take longer i don't know if this is another gnome ball situation where everyone's gonna be upset i guess i just got the impression that it was the kind of thing that would take forever good task though i can open these nine caskets and see if we get anything notable money and Three sapphires? That's that's crafting experience. You won't find me complaining. I don't know if the oysters have any value, but the raw fish, good stuff to save for the farm. We do need to actually go get it stuffed though. I almost forgot about that part. God, I hate it here. Uh, is this the skill hall? I always forget. Do I, <laughs> oh my God, this house, dude. Fishing trophy space. Give me mounted bass. Be indecisive. Use one of each alteration glyph. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with my head right now. I'm, I've been having a weird head day. It's just, it's manifesting in whatever this is. Use one of each alteration glyph during a ritual. I just understood what the task description was trying to say. I misunderstood it. At first I was like, oh, there are seven glyph spots, so there must be seven alteration ruins. And then I was like, no, wait, there's there's only four. So I guess I just fill out the other ones randomly. But then I was like, no, it's telling me that I can only use a lesser ritual because the glyphs I have to make for the ritual combined with the alteration glyphs I have to make for the achievement will add up to using all seven of the spots I have access to. Isn't reading such a magnificent tool that we have access to? Why do you watch this shit? We got an attraction, we got a protection, we got a multiply, and we got a speed. Have every alteration active at once, alter deficiency. Obtain a unique from the Shattered World's reward shop. I was hoping this would come up soon. My initial thought was to get Bladed Dive here, but the only place I can think of off the top of my head that it would be useful is like doing clue scrolls a little faster and boss fights that have parts where you might want to be moving somewhere specific fast, which is not something I'm going to need to worry about for a while. So I decided to go for Salt the Wound, even though I'm not actually sure if it's any good. Should I get Bladed Dive? Are people sitting there like, you should probably get Bladed Dive if you have this many? I hope it was an okay purchase. I don't know, maybe that entire thing was just a big waste of time. I mean, I would have to do it eventually for completion's sake. I can't help but wonder if maybe perhaps there was a better choice. Wow, wow. New color of wieldable flowers. <laughs> Receive the permanent boost from the boon of sparkling energy. How about, how about no? Anyone ever try that? Anyone ever just say no? Yeah, I guess a lot of people do when they just quit. All right, well, I just checked my bank and I have 8,000 sparkling energy. Truly no idea where I get some of these items. It's all so muddled in my brain. Boon of gleaming energy. Okay, well, that's confusing. I'm using sparkling energy, because I need a boon of sparkling energy, but a boon of gleaming energy comes up, which is not the correct item. A boon of sparkling energy is an item used in the divination skill. It's created by converting 600 glowing energy or 600 sparkling energy. It's not here. Uh, dude, I'm so confused. What? Wait, did I maybe make the wrong one on a different task? No, I don't. I haven't finished that task. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm so goddamn confused, man. I'm just gonna go get the other kind of energy. I truly, I am so lost. It doesn't even, it's not even a showing. Did I make this already by accident? That is the only logical conclusion. I must have somehow made this. Okay. I'm gonna work under the assumption that I, at some point, accidentally made this item by mistake. But if I am missing something to an extreme degree, please just let me know. I... I don't know, dude. I'm so confused, man. Locate and read the five different scribbles from Zamrak to his followers. The notes have a drop rate of 1 in 25, Bloodstained from Black Knights, Burnt from Greater Demons, Crumpled from Monks of Zamrak, Elegant from Dagenheim Monks, and Mysterious from Zamorak Mages. Hey yo, Bloodstained Note. Oh wow, that's an elegant note. Oh wow, note that's also burnt. I'm losing my mind. I accidentally forgot to record getting the fourth page. Here is a dramatization of that very moment. There we go, there's all those nice, fancy, little notes. I don't know why I said it like that. You know, sometimes when you do live commentary, you're not gonna nail it and you're gonna say a strange sentence that doesn't feel right. That was one of those moments. I suppose before I finish this task, I should actually give these a read. Observe all five large dragonkin statues on Anacrania. Get observed, you stupid dumbass rock. Oh, I'm not close enough. I'm dumbass. Is it cool if I observe you respectfully? I just, no, sorry, I just noticed your chest looks like a fish agape with emotion. Apparently, I've already observed one of the other statues. So the task is complete. Register a total of six unique items in the Mauritania section of your Slayer collection log. Ooh, ooh, with some fancy schmancy boots. They don't do anything for me, except tick off a log, which is more than enough for my little primitive brain. Complete the medium um area tasks. We're apparently done eight out of 10 things. Use the defensive ability reflect while the lesser bone shield incantation is active. Make a necromancy potion while in the city of Um. Well, that's quite easy. <laughs> necromancy potion. And then use reflect. Cool. Ooh, that go cool with the extra little purple effect. Uh, I hate that there's like a notable frame rate dip when I come to um, uh, bars. I just like, I'm worried about the precedent it sets for future updates. Like it's choppy, man. I don't know how hard it is to tell post rendering. I just worry about like future locations and all the graphical updates and the effects they'll have. I just, you know, hope they put more time into optimizing. That skeleton just did a six spin. Also went to the wrong place. Not me, the skeleton. I mean, not the skeleton me. Oh, I got two souls. Sure, this is my first time talking to you. Can I claim any rewards from you? I've completed all the tasks in the medium city of um task set. Lupe has also agreed to provide you with a daily supply of baby dragon bones, regular ghost ink and regular ritual candles. Ooh, I'm gonna have to get in the habit of doing that. And then we get the upgraded book. Going into, what do I dread training the most right now? I'm gonna say agility. I mean, I wouldn't wanna be like stuck on like Anacronia, just grinding it out all the way to 99 or something. God, could you imagine? Could you imagine? Could you imagine? Register a total of two unique items in the Kandarin section of your Slayer collection. Log. Turtles are kind of sick. I have not been here for that long, and I've got 254 cabbage seeds and 241 cabbages, which are great for the farm. Bunch of other seeds, some herbs. Uh, the turtle shells are good because I imagine to make war tortoise summons, you use a turtle shell. I'm not 100% on that, but I feel like it's a safe assumption. Some modest ruin stacks. Like, really? Pretty nice drop table on these things from an early game perspective. Even actually, I guess I'm more mid game, though I guess my mid game and my early game are longer than average because of the nature of Taskman. I don't know, it's just good. These things are pretty good. Even seeing a big stack of cabbage seeds is so satisfying, man, which is weird. You wouldn't think 
that's a it's an interesting benefit to Taskman. The fact that it's paced out differently makes you appreciate different things, which is really cool. Took a little turtle break to get my dailies done. We're about to hit 74 farming. I'm hoping to get some tasks soon that'll let me get more animals. Cause I don't think I can just go get animals. I might be able to make new pens though and just buy things with beans. I should look into that. All right, I gave everything a look through, all the passives and all the active tasks and all the passive and the active tasks and, sorry. The only things I can buy right now are, all uh, animals can now breed in small pens and we can also hire one of these hand fellas for a small pen. There's no other way for us to increase our farming gains here. So that's all we can do for now. But hey, I'll take the two passive tasks. Am I tripping or did they make this river go way faster? They gotta slow this thing down, man. These, this is not sustainable for these ducks. Look at these babies. It's getting swept into oblivion by this powerful river. I really thought this was gonna be one of those tasks that takes like 20 minutes and then, you know, you get the perfect shell and you're done. I've gotten three long bones, which are one in 400 here. So I don't know what's going on. I guess this thing is maybe just rarer than I anticipated. I mean, I hope like this isn't the start of a new, you know, ghost hunter thing and we're gonna be here for a few months. That was, <laughs> That would be that would be that'd be silly. No, I'm just kidding. But could you imagine? I don't even know what this thing's for. Is it like a useful item? Let's learn together. Unless you know what perfect shells do, like a weirdo. Perfect shell is an item dropped by a tortoise or warped tortoise. It can be sold to Barlac in Dorgastan for 600 coins and 500 crafting XP. When I'm doing my turtle only Iron Man in a few years, I'll, uh, I'll have to keep that one in my back pocket. There we go. Wow, that took a surprisingly long time. I mean, like 40 minutes, but it was like 30 minutes longer than I thought it would take.